Hello, so we're back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here, ThinkPad X1. So what do you think about this laptop? It's a nice one or not? Now what's the story with this, this one? With this one, the story is a little bit strange. So the customer initially said um, the charging port uh, broken on this laptop and he had it fixed to a local repair shop then two weeks later uh, the charging port stopped working and he sent me a picture with this one you know what this is a pretty easy job and i said yeah okay send it back i can solder back the port and uh, we'll be fine but the customer said no actually the port it is solder on the board but the laptop is not working so that's the story with this laptop pressing the power button nothing happened let's plug the meter and see what he's doing here. Yeah? So we have the USB meter. So I'm assuming the picture he sent me was actually before the laptop was repaired. That's what I'm assuming. So plug in the charger and we have, check that, the meter is coming on. 19 volts, 800 milliamps. So the port is fine. 800 milliamps. And we have picture, lol. Uh huh. Okay, the port is shutting down. Oh, yeah, I can see now. Yeah, when you move the port, uh, the meter is going off. Yeah. Okay, indeed, here is a problem. But what about the other port, this one? Because he has two ports. This one, same story. You can see, so both ports are, uh, you know, bad. But the laptop is coming on, that's strange. Good, let's open the, the laptop because we have to fix the both charging ports, not only one. Wow, this looks pretty bad, I mean, what happened here? This laptop start a fire or what? You think to what I'm thinking? I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I've uh, been around uh, people and I know how a quick job uh, can look like. Uh, and I've seen jobs... Uh, some people don't remove the board because that's long. So what they will do, they will come with the hot air from the back. And they will try, yeah? You you put pressure here. And with the heat from the back, and here you can, because it's a metal case, you can uh, reflow the port. Uh, I know there are, but there are shops doing it. If the job is cheap and has to be, you know, done quick. But I'm not sure if this is the case, but otherwise I cannot explain this burn mark here on the on the foil. Anyway, let's take the board out quickly and let's try to have a look at the charging ports. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not criticizing, you know. It's just... Uh, depends on the price. I mean, I have customer, you know, I give them my price, that's the price. 80 pounds for the port. Now, all I can do is 40. Eh, for 40 pounds, that's what you get. You know what I mean? Yeah, we had this kind of problem before. The problem is, the people think, if they told me it's for 40, I will do the same 80 pound job for 40 pounds. Never. <laughs> you pay 40, you'll get a, a job done for 40 pounds. I know there are people and people, and you have to... You have to deal with them and, uh, you know, try to make everyone happy. You know what? i never seen something like that, but I like the idea. You know, the USB port, which actually can swap it. <laughs> Pretty smart, you know? Having in mind, it's coming from Lenovo. Don't tell me here we have a jack uh, a jack headphone port 
on the same way. LOL. Yeah. So check here. The headphones connector, you can swap it. That's crazy, you know? I didn't see something like that before on any other laptops. Pretty smart. So basically the USB port and the headphone port, headphone jack, it's user replaceable, yeah? If you can find it, obviously. Yeah, we have SIM card here, SIM card jacket. Okay, so the board, it's out. Uh, not sure what should I say. Let's have a look at the, the USB-C ports. Okay, so those are the ports. Uh, I can see some flux here, you can see. Yeah. So someone um, probably worked from this side of the board. Okay, so what we can do for this customer? Very simple, yeah. Uh, let's remove the ports. Remember, this charge, this kind of charging port has two rows of pins, yeah. So uh, you know we have to solder the both rows of pins. Now we'll lower the temperature to three hundred degrees. Three hundred. 300. Let's show you 300. Let's see what's happening with 300. Yeah, I can see the flux. You can see it? Yeah. With 300, the, the port is coming out. It's looking okay. Even inside. That's one port. And this is the second one. This port has not uh, been uh, reflow before. It has the 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 manufactured solder here? That's the reason why I cannot take the port out. So the solder from this port is the manufactured solder. But that one has been lower. The other one. So I don't think I can take the port out. I will raise the temperature to to three to three hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Now it is a risk of melting the port. I think the port is stuck with something on the back. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah, but we are fine. We didn't melt the port and everything is fine. Yeah, it was stuck with something on the back. Good, finally. So what we are doing now, now we are cleaning the board, applying a fresh 180 degrees uh, solder. Proper flux. And we should be fine. Rosin, we need some rosin here. Perfect. Solder wire. This is a hundred eighty degree solder wire. Perfect. This one from here is lower than 180. Which is a bad idea, so 180 degrees is kind of a sweet point when it's about soldering. So this one is fine. This one is fine. You agree with me, both are fine? Good. Now the ports, let's see inside. 
So this one inside is fine, it's no problem. And this one inside is fine, it just needs to be cleaned. And you can do it now. Alcohol. Now let's clean it a little bit. Looks good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Let's see the pins from behind of uh, of the charger port. Okay, let's use some fresh solder here. Black swing erosin. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And this one. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use just a tiny uh, drop of uh, rosin here. Perfect. Perfect. That's all. That's all what we need. Now let's hold the pour back. So I will comb with 300, 350 degrees, yeah? 350 degrees. Because we have to be sure the first pin of, uh, the first row of pins is soldered. One second. Perfect. Perfect. Just to be sure, yeah, just to be sure. Just to be sure, let's use a drop of uh, liquid rosin. I mean, probably it's solder, but I just want to be sure. Good. Now let's solder this one. One second. Perfect, so I'll hold uh, the charging port down. Let's come with the solder wire. Let's be sure. Yeah. Just to be sure it's soldered properly on place. Perfect. Good. Perfect. We done it. We soldered both charging ports. Let me clean here. Let's clean the board. We 
we can clean the charge and put a little bit inside just to be sure they are clean and we can test the board perfect let's dry now let's test let's plug the charger 19 volts good and here 19 volts and it's good you can see so both are fine from the other side 19 volts and it's fine Nineteen volts and it's fine. Yeah, you can see. So both charging ports are soldered properly on the board. Not that hard, you know. It's just a little bit of. Uh, yeah, that's how it was. So I can't do anything here about the foil. Well, you can see we have enough solder there. Everything looks good. Now the design of the board it's a little bit dodgy. I mean you have one screw here, but you don't have screw here on the middle. You have here. So uh, those boards probably can wiggle. Yeah, now should be fine. And now we can put the board back. Yeah, all good. Uh, the laptop is back. I put it all back together. It is on. Let's plug the charger. So we have one port here. Working nice. Yeah, no problem. And the second port, this one. Solid. And this is the customer charger. I checked with the, with the customer charger. Uh, the laptop is nearly fully charged, so that's the reason why we don't see here uh, a lot of current. We do have a wide light there. So everything is fine. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you repair the charging ports. I'm not sure what I can do here with this foil, but... Yeah, let's try to put it straight there. Yeah, now it's straight. Good. We have a few clips here. Perfect. Now I'm happy I helped this customer. Uh, it was not a hard job, but it's risky. I mean, if something goes wrong, uh, this is... This is quite an expensive laptop, so uh, you don't want anything to go wrong. So I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.